Hi, I'm David Hill with New York Habitat. Today we're going to take you for a tour of the Financial District of London, known quite simply as the City. The City of London is just a small part of modern-day London. The city, as we know it, constitutes the ancient city that was established nearly 2,000 years ago. The city boundaries roughly mirrored those of the ancient town which remained largely unaltered until the 18th century and the beginnings of the Industrial Revolution. The city is also known as the Square Mile as it covers approximately one square mile of central London. Its original city gates no longer stand, but their names remain – Bishopsgate, Aldgate, Moorgate, and Newgate. With the River Thames as its southern border and the Tower of London guarding the river, the city became a well-protected and well-connected trading port in Roman times. Standing guard over the City of London since 1066 and the successful invasion of William the Conqueror, the Tower of London stands as a powerful reminder of its turbulent past as a fortress, a state prison, and a place of execution. Today, the Tower of London is a wonderful attraction housing royal armor, the crown jewels, and home to the Tower Ravens. Legend has it that should the Ravens leave the Tower, the country will fall. Leadenhall Market dates back to the 14th century. Once a meat and poultry market, it was redesigned in the 1880s by Sir Horace Jones, and the domed roof, cobbled walkways, and wonderful decorations make it the attraction it is today. If you look closely, you can still see the original wrought iron hooks where produce was displayed in Victorian London. The River Thames runs through the heart of London, and London would not be the city it is today without it. The river has less impact on London's economy today, but there are several riverboat services and sightseeing tours showing some wonderful riverside attractions. The City of London is arguably the financial capital of the world, although New York may have something to say about that. More than 500 banks have offices here at the Bank of England. Predominantly serving the financial sector, there are over 300,000 people working within the city boundaries. The city is the financial and legal center of London. If you're here on business, then why not consider one of New York Habitat's service departments here in the heart of the city? We have a range of apartments available from one day to one year throughout the area. It was in the city on Pudding Lane that the Great Fire of London started in 1666. The monument behind us, designed by Christopher Wren, stands as a lasting memory of the Great Fire which destroyed the medieval city. St. Paul's Cathedral is one of London's most recognized landmarks. Victim of the Great Fire, St. Paul's was rebuilt in the 1600s and is the final resting place of some of England's greatest figures, including Sir Winston Churchill, Lord Nelson, and the Duke of Wellington. The city boasts some wonderful historic sites. In contrast, there is some wonderfully innovative contemporary architecture. Number one poultry, the Lloyd's Building, known as the Inside Out Building, and 30 St. Mary Axe, known by all Londoners as the Gherkin. The city highlights the rich culture of London, both ancient and modern. Well, we've come to the end of our video tour of the city here in London. If you know of any fun spots to visit, make sure you leave a comment in the comment section below. And if you're coming to London, be sure to visit our website at nyhabitat.com and book a vacation rental or furnished apartment with New York Habitat. You'll find furnished apartments all over London. I'm David Hill with New York Habitat. Thanks for watching our video tour of the city and we hope to see you soon in the exciting city of London.